Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblock 3. We are just missing four singularities and today I want to try and focus on the polonium pellet singularity from Mechanism. Which could either be very easy, but it could also be quite difficult. This is what we need to create polonium. We basically need to go through this entire tree, set up all these machines, make it all running so we get polonium pellets. Uh, heat is a fair, fairly discussed mechanic and mechanism. Uh, some machines generate heat, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the main thing you would want heat for is the thermal evaporation plant. Uh, the, uh, okay, don't know if we'll need that or not, but we're just going to get started. There's going to be a lot of crafting, a lot of tinkering, a lot of work, so let's just get into it. Now, before we do that, though, uh, I have made another floor right down here. This is the red section. This is going to be for the final uh, singularities here, because this is the big and difficult thing. So. Before we begin, where is my center? This is my center right here. I'm going to put the pallet thing right here. So let me just expand the room. No idea if this is big enough. No idea if it's small or too small. We're going to find out. So let's see what we need to get started. We already have oxygen, electrolytic separator. I don't know if I already have one electronic separator. I do not, so we definitely need to make one of those. Then we need to make a sulfur, a, a chemical oxidizer, which we needed to, uh, the chemical oxidizer turn solids into chemicals here. That would be the sulfur into sulfur dioxide, which we then need to put into the chemical infuser. So let me just make sure we have those machines. All right, so this thing, which I already have downstairs, I just, I, I don't want to try. I don't even want to try and pronounce this thing. I need a dynamic tank for the chemical oxidizer, a personal chest or barrel, uh, which I can definitely do just like that. That's actually very interesting. What does this do? I guess it's just private for service and things. And a basic chemical tank, which is very easy to make just like so. That's a chemical oxidizer. And then the chemical infuser, which is just two more of these tanks. And then, well, also a seal casing. Hopefully I have everything so that we can go through this crafting process fairly easily. Good. Uh, random reward, actually, I'm not gonna... Did I get another machine? No. Okay, good. But yes, I'm, just, I'm not going to take the rewards just yet. Right, then we need to basically get sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid can be made by combining sulfur trioxide with water vapor. Right, I suppose... Before we continue, I'm going to be needing an ender cell. I'm going to take spirited because I'm probably going to be needing quite a bit of uh, <laughs> of uh, uh, power power for this. Right, we're going to start this way back. Well, in the back, uh, oxygen. Right, chemical. Nope, Oxi oxygen. Oxygen. Yes, electro electric it separator thingy. I'm going to put this up here, I think. I think I'm going to put that up there. Then lead power cables like so. Right. We need to make this sulfuric so acid uh, condense. I don't have a condenser. Do I need a condenser? Water vapor. I need a water vapor before I can do this process, I think. Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> We're going to be learning together here. Uh, energy tablet. Very easy to get. Basic tank and chemical thingy yep perfect this thing does this something else as well uh so now we have acid unlocked good and the way we get acid is through this Can't, that doesn't make any sense input sulfuric acid output sulfur eh okay we're going to start from the very beginning i need to turn water into what it says right here into hydrogen and oxygen. So I need to provide this with water. So just like that, with an aqueous accumulator, set this to that. This should be getting water. And I can set, well, I need to figure out now which step is then next. Sulfur dioxide, chemical oxidizer. The chemical oxidizer turns solids into chemicals here. That would be sulfur into sulfur dioxide. So we need the chemical oxidizer looks very fancy 
And this then needs to get sulfur, which does it need? Uh, hold on. That would be sulfur dioxide. Can I not? Right. That's the chemical infuse. Oh, chemical infuser. Hold on. That was the wrong thing. <laughs> Usages. Uh, yellow cake uranium. That is not it. Sulfur dust. Right. I just need sulfur dust, which is easy because all I'm going to need is a personal EMC link. Hoping that I have some sulfur dust. Yes. All I'm then going to do is add this here. Here. Set this to this. Set this to output. And I think all I need to do is clear and the right is going to be input. Yep, that's then taking the sulfur, turning it into sulfur dioxide. Cool. Next, we have sulfur trioxide. Make a chemical infuser. The, the chemical infuser combines two chemicals to make another here. That would be sulfur dioxide with oxygen. Good. So this thing needs to get this and oxygen. Oh, oxygen. Good. So I'm going to say dump access. Then I'm going to go into here, the side config. And we need to choose uh, oxygen gases, I think. Clear this. And then I want the front, the front to be output cyan right and then uh, i need something that can make can it i can't spell today apparently fluids i need gas pipes do i not have yes gases perfect i do this it's getting oxygen right i need to make sure that the side config here is set to none right get okay that I'm sorry, that, please, please, can I disable that? That's doing my head. Okay, this one. <laughs> okay, so this, the output for gases needs to be on the left. Then we place this here. And, oh, it has to be on the side? Are you kidding me? All right, fine, I guess I'll just remove this, fix this up. This should still be getting oxygen, I think. Unless I need to go ahead, gases, auto eject. Maybe auto. No. How doesn't that work? Maybe I need to place it here. And then. Oh, because it doesn't take it from the from the back. Okay, that's annoying. Maybe I can then do it. Aha! I have cheated the system. Oh dear. Don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> okay, that's empty. Uh, it did go in though. It did go in, so I'm going to do this. So that means all the sulfuric uh, dioxide is going in here. The oxygen is getting in here. And we're producing sulfur trioxide. Now this is just going to be needing some power. Which should be manageable if I do something like... Okay, this could be much cleaner. <laughs> it was a stress at the beginning, but I think we're slowly getting there now. Alright, sulfur trioxide. Now, we need to make sulfuric acid. Can be made by combining sulfuric trioxide with water vapor. Polonium requires nuclear waste, which means you need a, to power a fission reactor. Fission reactors run on fossil fuel, which has a lengthy, complex recipe. Oh dear, just what we need. <laughs> the first step would be to make water vapor in the rotary condenser. Right, I have this thing. Um, don't know what I need to do with it. Right, I need to hook this up to a water source. So again, I just need to go ahead and aqueous accumulator, make this just like so, boom, get some water, just two of those, very lovely, place this right here, water, water, get the fluid pipe right there, set this to input, and side config fluids, 
clear bottom that's not it uh would be left right right well it's not taking any water in that's a bit weird oh i had to press this toggle operation so now it is creating water vapor good can be made by combining trioxide with water vapor and combining that means we need to use another chemical infuser which i'm then going to be placing right here water vapor i assume that is going to count as a type of gas get rid of that um now that's filled with that which is quite unfortunate so for this we need blue so gases blue needs to be on the left i'm pretty sure input output blue i'm fairly so yep 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 there we go add that and then water vapor which is then going to be on your left output blue left input output uh auto eject fluids output also i don't know why it says blue output blue left when it's actually red input that's interesting anyway i've set the both to be that i think that's left oh yeah it's out of it's <laughs> it's out of that uh that's the wrong thing aha so i moved this over so i didn't have this stupid pipe conflict and now it is doing its work and generating sulfuric acid again all of this needs to get power you need to move that out here and whatnot but for now it is working perfectly so that means we now have sulfuric acid next we need to make the hydrofluoric what the chemical dissolution chamber uses sulfuric acid to dissolve items into a new chemical. Here, that would be fluoride into hydrochloric acid. Okay, so I need to make this. Oh, now that's a recipe. <laughs> that's a recipe indeed. Well, I can make some of it very easily. Um, th there we go. Ultimate control circuit. That's a, that's a lot. And refined obsidian ingot. I should, I should have some of this. Aha, I do have atomic alloy in here, which means all I need now is the elite control circuit, which I don't think I have in here. And I don't think I have it in here. Nope. However, I do have two reinforced alloy and I also have the advanced. <clears throat> I also have the advanced. <laughs> advanced thing right there and let me just make sure to learn that like so boom 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 learn unlimited let's go also have refined obsidian thankfully i have one learn that boom basically unlimited no problem whatsoever boom chemical desolation chamber never a problem again all right let's set this up then so we're going to be taking in uh, sulfuric acid, which is going to be requiring gases, like so, and yep, perfect. I don't even think I need to set that output. I'm not 100% sure though. And then we need to give it fluoride, which is EMCable, thankfully. So that is actually not that complicated. So personal EMC link, set you to that output. And then items in put on the left. Yep. And that is then going to create hydrofluoric acid. Beautiful. Very good. We're, we're slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. Now, however, we need to make this yellow cake uranium in an enrichment chamber with a uranium ingot. Um... Right. How does one get uranium? Do I have you you urane? Oh, I do have uranium. And it's EMCable. 
I love Project E, it makes things so much easier. All right, uranium, that is basically done. I just need, yep, I, I just need, I just need it to one. I, I kind of just needed one actually, because now if I go ahead, this is going to have a charge in it. If I place this, don't know if that's, ooh, that's gonna be close. No, actually it's not, it's going to finish. And just like that, boom, can pick this up again, throw it in here, throw that in here, do that. Boom, done, don't even need it anymore. Love it. So now we need to make uranium oxide. Can be created in the chemical oxidizer, which chemical oxidizer, this thing. One thing I really, really do want, one thing I really, really, really want is from Project E, this, the transmutation tablet. I really want this, but it's expensive. <laughs> I can't make this yet because we do not have the infinity ingots. That is what we're trying to work towards. But having the transportation tablet would make this process a lot easier. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take this with me. Hopefully it still has, yep, it still has everything learned. So I'm going to actually take this with me now. Because it, it's just going to be easier. However, I am going to see if I have, I don't have a fuse. I don't have a fuse aloe in here. It seems seeable. In do I not have? Huh. Well, there's only one thing to do. Just, just, just one. Just, I just need the one. Thank you. Then which one? Yep, yeah, right here. How's our power situation? Oh, not even touched by what we're doing. <laughs> not touched at all. Place this here. Learn. Get on for an unlimited amount. Put it in here, and boom. No problems. Problem sorted. I'm going to. Bring this with me down. Because <laughs> I'm going to need it quite a bit. Right, so I'm just going to place this, I think, over here. Uh, actually, what is the front of this? Okay, that's apparently the front. I will be needing to give it to this to this. Um, yes, it can output here. Splendid. Don't know how I input... Oh, I need to output from there. Right, personal EMC link, you will have to move to the back of this uh, item pipe there, put this here, output and yep, you do need to do that, <laughs> thank you. And I will need another personal, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep the stack on me because I'm clearly going to be needing it quite a bit. Another thing here, set this to output, getting a cup of tea, don't break the game. I'm gonna try not to. You know, that would be preferred, I think. There we go. Side config. Uh, less input. Perfect. I saw it. Which means we now have uranium oxide. Because we have it generating right there. And we're out of power. Again, I'll hook all of the machines up to power. Don't really want all the noise in my head right at the beginning or while doing all this. Okay, uranium hexafluoride. The names are getting longer and longer, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uranium hexafluoride is the main ingredient in fissile fuel. That doesn't say how, how, I, how I make it. So, um, uh, uranium hex, hexa, hexaflu, there we go. Uh, and again, it doesn't say from mechanism how you make it. Which is unfortunate, really unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> I assume that we're going to be needing another chemical infuser to combine it. Right, place this here. Yeah, that could be a problem. That could be a problem because of the... Uh, that's gonna go there, that's gonna... Yeah, I don't like that. I'm gonna have to do something that is not specifically good looking at all. Go away. Press pipe. Go away. <laughs> you know what? It's gonna look fancy. So that has high acid. And then the. What was that? Gases? Is that a gas? Uranium oxide. I'm going to put gases to right, output, left, there we go. Eh, 
Oh, right. Uh, gases input front. Good. We're making uranium hexafluoride. Guys, if you are enjoying the episode so far, <laughs> be sure to leave it a like. That would uh, that yeah, very uh, that would be very appreciated. And most definitely, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe. And also, if you are enjoying my videos, be sure to check out my second channel as well, where I play other games than Minecraft. Currently, have a series running with Slime Rancher. Just started playing Valheim. Really loving that game. Other stuff as well, potentially, on, on, the, on the drawing board, so be sure to check it out. Link down below in the description. But that is the uranium hexafluoride done. I'm probably butchering that. I forgot I'm not going to be taking those. Right. Fissile, fu fossil f fissile fuel. Make a centrifuge. Turn the isotopic centrifuge turns one chemical into another. Here, that would be uranium hexafluoride into fissile fuel. Okay, that's a recipe. <laughs> uh, right, that should be fairly easy though. So that is the isotopic centrifuge right here. Hold on, I, that's one thing I have not. Okay, I, th I think we're good. I think we're good. I thought maybe we would have to make like a, a big structure for the, for the reactor, but I think we're good. Right, I'm going to place this right here. Um, okay. Does it have like a... Does it have anything on the bottom? It does. So I assume that's the output. Yes, that that, that would be the output, I think. <laughs> that would be the output. Uh, I, and no, I'm not going to leave the floor like that, don't worry. Right, well, we'll have to work with that then. Let's place it right here. Take uh, gases. Boom, boom. And this would then be the left. Uh, output. Oh, I don't think. Maybe I need to give this a little bit of power just to get it started. Like that, maybe. I mean, it's in there. Okay, hold on. There's plenty in the pipe. There's plenty in the pipe. This probably needs to be set up. Gases, front is input. Good. We're making fissile fuel. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm scared though, because it has danger stripes on it. Anyway, that's that done. We need to make a... Oh, it is a multi-structure. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, let's read this. The fission reactor is a large multi-block structure. Large. Okay. That generates a massive amount of heat which can be used to make an extremely large amount of FE. More importantly, however, it makes nuclear waste. Oh yeah, we don't care about the power. We just want the nuclear waste. <laughs> Frankly, the fusion fission reactor is much too complex to describe here. Luckily, there's a very good wiki page here. Right. Um, I'm gonna take a look at that and I'll be right back. All right, I did some stuff. Um, I decided to compact it a little bit because I need space for the reactor. And yeah, I, I did realize it could be compacted a little bit nicer, but I kind of like it this kind of messy way. So I'm going to leave it like that and we're going to have power out just going down into the machines. I think that's going to be cool. But this is apparently what we need to do to make a reactor. There are different, way, different ways you can go ahead and do this. I'm going to make a 5x5. Five five. Actually, I am realizing now that I don't know if this is... We need to make it one, two, three. We also need to have a solid ground right here, by the way. I can definitely, though. I definitely can go ahead, grab my hammer. This is where it's going to be. Take out a five by five area. I might even be able to go down one more. I think I'll be able to go down one more. I think it's fine. Fill this out and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's good maybe <laughs> we gotta find out this is by the way just sufficient reactor casing and apparently I am going to be needing more so let's just go ahead and grab just casually two stacks you know just like that all right then we also have this reactor glass which I'm definitely gonna put up put up on the outside here however I will put this up I think you can build this pretty much freely 
kind of from what I have understood. Then I need to go ahead and make some fission fuel assemblies. I can just go ahead and make one and learn, take, burn. And then I'm pretty sure it is in this formation right here. Build it up to the top, I'm pretty sure. And then we're going to be needing control rod assemblies. Uh, one for each of these pillars, basically. So five in total. So one there, one there. Ooh, hold on. Actually, I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing this wrong. I need to be able to cap off the reactor, I think, right here. I don't think I have to make it uh, any taller than that. We are going to find out if I guess this thing explodes or just simply doesn't work. I hope it's going to be the last bit in if it doesn't work. Now this bit, I'm going to increase the room size a little bit here. Just a tiny bit, because we're going to be needing to work on the sides kind of here. So we're going to be needing to make four of these fission reactor ports. One and two. We are going to be needing one for the fuel input. So I'm going to in fact be placing one right there. Then we need one for coolant input and coolant output. Still need to figure out how that works. And then one for the... I'm going to place one right there. Actually. Eh, I assume I can do coolant input and output on the same side. So I'm just going to put one there, one there. And then one over here for the... Yeah, well, it would be better having it in front, I suppose. Nope. Going to do it on the, on the side here for the... Uh, nuclear waste, that's the one. All right, now we should be able to go ahead and place the reactor glass all the way around here. And we should see in just a moment some stuff happen. If I've done things right. Hmm. Which uh, clearly I haven't. Ah. I made a mistake. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. It needs to be one taller. Oops. Thankfully, however, there is not something right, right above us. So we should be good to continue these up one more. Then replacing these again. And now we can go ahead and put up the ceiling. And boom, that's what I wanted to see. If we right click this now, this is the GUI. And I think I know how to deal with the different things. So we need to put in water to this thing. Now, I just don't think the aqueous accumulators are going to be fast enough. And I saw how Chosen Architect did it. And he basically went ahead and made the highest tier tank. I should probably be able to just type this out. Yes, the ultimate fluid tank. And he also made the ultimate... Uh, mechanical pipes and this makes total sense because obviously it's huge it has a huge capacity and we need to fill it up fast and we can do that with this specific setup right here so we make the make the Evertide amulet and then ultimate fluid tank uh, I'll be right back and there we go ultimate fluid tank this has basically a huge capacity we also want some uh, mechanical pipes which requires this and then I think I already made those then elite and then ultimate and learn those burn take burn and I think basically we can go ahead and we want this to empty let's just keep it at both put this here I think that is going to make it so it keeps filling Yep, there we go. So put it in afterwards. And as you can see, the water is now rising. That looks pretty epic. That looks really, really nice. We could probably have done it with something smaller than the ultimate fluid tank. I don't know if other tanks has this uh, thing right here, though. Um, don't know why that went down there. That's a bit worrying. So maybe we just do empty. And maybe it won't go down there. I don't know. Let's see, it is now full. Yeah, see, now it is... 
Now it's there. Now it doesn't go there. So hopefully it stays there. And then we basically need to make a trash can here. Uh, can void energy, can also limit the energy transfer rate. Can void liquids and gases. Yes, we need uh, this right here. Do I seriously not have a bucket? How do I not have a bucket? That is beyond me. Anyway, uh, out of everything, I don't have a bucket. We can make this fluid trash can right there. A pressure tube. I just made the ultimate. Probably don't need to. Set this to output. Or pull. I think... Because it's not going to say... Yeah, I, th I think that's going to be fine. I think. Obviously, we are going to be transferring. I might as well use the ultimate for th this as well. Side, gases, input, output, blue front. And that has now gotten <laughs> a tiny bit amount of fissile fuel. And if we activate this now... It's using the fuel, we can turn it off, and now we have nuclear waste. And that is either going to be a fluid or a gas, I don't know. Let's see, nuclear waste? Gas. That would be gassed. Ga gassed? <laughs> that would be gas. Alright, let's just make sure that we have it right here. Um, this would be... Ooh, that might take the gas. We don't want that to take the gas, so let's work with this over here first. Because this is where we're going to be working with the nuclear waste, which is a pressurized reaction chamber. The pressurized reaction chamber combines an item and a chemical into another item and another chemical. So that is what we need to make next. And that is as easy as that. i place this right here. Uh, yes. Might place it... Yeah, I think that's going to look cooler. So that takes... What now? Polonium is a radioactive material that's used in several recipes. None of those are important, though. It's needed for the singularity, and that's what really matters. I 100% agree. Right. I... Don't know how to make this. Uh, so we need... Okay, access following. Blah, blah, blah. I think we need water. Then the... Wait. Polonium. Polonium. Is that what we're getting from this? Polonium. That's nuclear waste. Okay, let me set this up. Uh, side config. Energy. Fluids. Gases. Input. That would be the back. Uh, ah, right. I was missing a step. So first we need to take the nuclear waste, combine it with water and sulfur dust... Turn it into polonium. I get it now. I get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this right here. I'm going to have this set to... So gases. Input back. Yes. Still don't know why this isn't taking from from this thing. Like taking the, the waste tank. The nuclear waste. I'm not quite sure why that is. But... It's fine, I guess. Oh, I just realized. I can use this to change... Oh, that makes so much sense. Output coolant. Okay, we want the output coolant to go here. Because that is the, the steam that we're getting here. We could run that into a turbine and then generate power. But we're not really interested in that. We have basically unlimited power as it is. So I can set this to output waste. And I was just testing to see if it was a fluid or not. Uh, but if we go ahead and do this, I'll put that. Then we go into fluids, set this to none, gases, back, input dark. There we go, nuclear waste right there. And then to get this, or the polonium, which is what we're trying to make, we need sulfur dust, which is another personal EMC link, which I'm going to be placing right there. And some of this stuff going on right there. Telling it to use sulfur dust. You go there, and normally, if it, well, it does have power, but it doesn't have quite enough nuclear waste, it would make polonium. Now, we can take that polonium and make this. Alright, final step. I just need to get some fluoride dust to set up the, personal, the final personal EMC link. Which is going to be very cool. There we go. That is that. Get back in there. Right. Set this up 
like so. Place, please. There we go. <laughs> and go up here. Place like that. Output in. Fluoride dust you make. Good. We're going to get uh, polonium through here into this. And then polonium pallets. But we're also going to get the spent nuclear waste. So I need to output that as well. Which is an issue because of this right here. I need access to the back of it, which is not ideal. Uh, Alright. I think that this is going to be finally the final setup. This will then need to go into a neutronium compressor like that. I think this is going to work. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to power these things. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized all the faces on this are covered. Well, it's fine. We're gonna figure it out. Uh, yeah, I think I just need to start this thing and see what happens. Activate. Okay, temperature is rising. Temperature is rising, which I don't really like. It's also very, 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 very loud. Extremely loud. Even like that is still loud. Wow. Um... Okay, it's actually keeping at a 100 Celsius. Obviously, we're using the fuel. We'll be making fuel in a moment. We have nothing in the waste. We have nothing in the heat heated coolant because that's all being outputted. We have the nuclear waste building up right here, which eventually will turn and produce right there. Just like that, which is then going to be sent. Um into this. Yep, polonium. Just a very, very, very slow process, might I add. How many of these do we need? Okay, just three. It's meant to be this slow then. Good. But that means it works. That means it works. As soon as I plug everything up to the power, everything should work. Very nice. From what I can tell, that is the final bit that we need to do to get this thing going. Right. I wonder if a uh, watch flowing time would have an effect. I, I guess I would need to test that. I don't really have one on me at the moment. But right now I have another task and that is to make sure everything has power. Which is actually going to be... Okay, I can... I can you can scram. You can be scrammed now. It's actually going to be quite fun because I need to do that. Then I can do this and this. Uh, actually, mm, uh, mm, yes. Break this. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting network. Go here. You go here. And then you also go here. But then you're kind of connected. So I'm going to disconnect you. Then we're going to go here. And this is going to go here. And here. <laughs> Well, actually, I do, no, I don't like it. I've decided that I do like it. Um, how on earth is this thing going to get power? Oh, from the side. From the side. I do realize now that the basic universal cables is not going to be enough, I don't think. So I may have to upgrade to ultimate if possible. Oh, maybe just to make sure everything gets all the power that it needs. Also, I I don't know if I said this, but I changed my mind. I I want it this way, like I originally <laughs> did it. Right. I am going to assume that this is going to be quite loud. I can disconnect you. Connect 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 you. Just make sure these are not connected, just so it looks a little bit neater. Right. I think every single machine is going. Basically, this just needs to go up, and it does, and I need to make sure that it always goes up. Yes. Now. Um, ooh, we had to hold up. We're draining power. We're draining power. Are we actually draining more power than we're making? Hold on. Well, not according to that. That's interesting. 
What about in here? I mean, it said so. Ah, uh, just about. Just about. I can always have some more dynamos upstairs. Right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate this. And I'm just going to be AFK for a while. See how things goes. And that is probably the best way that I can find out if there are any mistakes. Which it kind of looks like there is, because... <laughs> not everything is happening as I would think they should. Ah, toggle op operation. I forgot to toggle operation. That is important to remember with that thing. Um... Still isn't doing anything though, right? Don't know what was actually wrong with this thing. I made a new one and replaced it and now it works. So don't know what happened there, but now I think everything should be going. This is getting its stuff. This is set to output. This is generating what it needs to. Pushing it forward to here, which is making its stuff. Secondary forward to here. This is getting stuff. Yep, everything is working smoothly. I'm going to AFK now and see how things will get along. I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, about an hour later and some food in my stomach, we now have a polonium pellet and it is slowly, slowly going up. It is very slow, so maybe I'll consider setting up some watches of flowing time in between camera or something like that to speed up the process of, well, not only this, but also all the other singularities because we only like, we only have one balloon singularity. May I remind you that we need well, we need, well, this is the recipe for the Infinity Catalyst. We need, well, for the Infinity Ingot. We need a lot of catalysts for one Infinity Ingot. And, well, if we want to make every single item here, yeah, we, we're gonna need quite a few. But this system is now working. However, the only thing that I need to do is go to, yep, it's items, auto eject, and, okay, maybe I do need to, so to this. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. It has to be on the top. I forgot. <laughs> there we go. Should be... Yep, that is going along very slowly and catching. One down, two to go. And this is the setup. And yes, I did muffle everything because it was extremely loud. Now all there is to do is to, well, wrap, wrap it up pretty much. What did I do up here? The glad, okay, right next to the wood, yep. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this episode. We are now three singularities away from getting, well, the Infinity Catalyst, except that we also need to set up the Ultimate Stew and the Cosmic Meatballs and the Endless Pearl. Yeah, we, we still have some work to do, but guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Yeah.